Hello, my name's Andrea Coleman and I'm going to be showing you today how to make an art felt teddy bear. Start by cutting your pre-felts according to the template I've provided. Beginning with the ears, place it onto your piece of foam and cover it very lightly with small amounts of fleece. You may have to tear these up. So go in two different directions, like that, I'll put it on there so you can see. But when you poke it through, put it on the foam. Don't need to do too many pokes. And then turn it over and fold in the rounded edges. So don't fold the straight edge. Poke them in. So it should like look like this, the first side, with those fibres coming down. Then repeat this process on this side, exactly the same. Turn it over, fold in all those fibres. So it should look like this when you finish that part. Then taking very, very small amounts of your coloured fibres, you can tear them up and you can see they're absolutely minute. Place them on to create a patchwork effect with the pastel colours. Any fibres that are overhanging treat exactly the same way. You can place them over the other side, leaving the, the long, the flat edge free. Carry on till this is completely full. The finished ear should look a little bit like this. The brown bear should be covered in the darker brown fibres. Then don't forget to do your second ear. Put them aside, we'll use them later. Using the measurements in your instructions, cut the rectangular foam into four pieces. These will form the limbs of your teddy bear. Cut a wedge off each one and curve the top edge. Then turning it upside down, place the pre-felt that you've already cut and using the needle, secure it into place. Take a thin amount of fleece and cover the edge of your limb, secure it into place and then proceed to cover the rest of the limbs. If you want to watch this in more detail, go to my mouse tutorial. I use exactly the same techniques. Once your limb is completely covered, it should look a little bit like this brown one, only white. With the white you can start to put some colours on it if you'd like to. The most important thing is you absolutely cannot see any foam. Using the circle you cut out of your pre-felt, cut a small X in the middle and place it on top of the body. Same for the head, the smaller one. I've got a chopstick here that I have put in place. 
secure in place with your felting needle. Remember to angle the needle in, otherwise you risk breaking the needle if you point directly. The foam is may seem a bit rough, it's been hand cut for you and you will be shaping it with your hands later on in the process and your finished product will not reflect the, the roughness of the foam. Repeat this process with the head. I like my teddy to look fat. So taking the Shetland fibres, roll it into a, a small ball and pay, poke it in place just on the tummy area. Repeat this process all over in every spot that you want the teddy to look fat. So the tummy, the back of the bottom and on the head, the back of the head particularly. Using the Shetland wool which is a little bit stronger and coarser than the merino it's good for padding out and you can see how you can change the shape of your teddy bear slightly. Pay attention to the back of the teddy bear's head, it's nice to get a rounded shape there. You can give it rounded cheeks and add a little bit to the snout to give it a slightly longer profile. Now you're ready to cover the bear with the merino wool in at least two directions, making sure you can't see any foam underneath. Use the needle to secure into place. You, you will cover the whole body like this and the head. Once you've covered your bear with the base colour, white in the case of the multicoloured bear and light brown in the case of your brown bear, check it over very carefully to make sure there's no foam showing and then you can place your ears. Open up the base of your ear like that. and then place it on the appropriate space where you'd like it to be. And using your felting needle, press into place. When you've put the ears in place, make sure they're lined up correctly. Using the needle, stab them many times to make sure they're really strongly secured so that you can lift them by the ear. Now it's time to cover the rest of the bear with small amounts of the coloured fleece. To make patches, take a, a very thin amount of fleece and keep breaking it up in the same place over and over until you have a nice patch. Place it on your bear, poke it into place, then you can make your next patch. Make sure it can overlap. I've got a few that I've already made. Like that. With the brown bear, you need to cover the roots of the ears with the lighter fleece. Then you can cover the snout with the slightly darker fleece. Once you've covered your teddy in the colours you wish to use, then you c it's time to get it wet and felt it. So taking the head, it's important to keep the chopstick in place as much of the time as you possibly can. So mix up your soap in warm soapy water and absolutely saturate it. The, the problems most people have usually 
are because it's not wet enough and then just pat keep turning keep patting this takes quite a long time and you've got to keep going till the fibres stop lifting once you, the fibres stop lifting you can really start to shape your bear the more you rub in certain areas the smaller it will get so places like where the legs are going to go you can rub a little bit inwards the tummy you want quite big so you won't you just rub around and with the head you can rub all these areas to get the snout nice and shapely and the head stronger Once you've felted your bear, rinse out all the soap in cool water and then put to dry. Then you'll be ready to put the head onto the top of the body. Take the chopstick out and place the whole together on top of the plastic bit. And this bit you'll just have to press incredibly hard, grab them very, very firmly and push in so put the two together and press there I heard it in place you should hear it click in place and now you can swivel the head round and now we can get ready to put the arms and legs on to put the legs on your bear first start by getting the buttons ready, cover them with your own fabric or the fabric provided, thread the needle. We start with the legs and first secure the thread in one side of the leg. By repeatedly going over the same spot. Make sure this is really firm and then go through to the other side once or twice. Put your button on. So it's on the leg. that and then take your teddy and place it so the button's on the outside. You have to work out where his tummy is as well so on the brown bear it's slightly harder. I've made a mark at the back. So here goes right through to the other side. Now you can pull very hard on this, put it through to the other side of the leg, making sure they're level and put the button onto this side. and secure in place.
Now you've got the legs and arms all in place and they're moving freely, you can put the eyes in. With the brown bear, I think it's nice to have a little bit of white. So pinch a tiny amount and decide where you're going to put the eyes. Poke it a few times so you get a small indent. Double check that they're on the same level and where you want them. Put a very small amount of white in. And you can use this method, if you like, to um, give definition to the ends of the pores. Same method. The second eye is always slightly harder. You can add different details to your bear, for instance paws and nose and mouth using the same technique as you used making the eyes. Well done, congratulations on finishing your first teddy bear. Maybe you'd like to try something from the Art Felt family. Bye bye.